The following temperatures may bring unwanted house guests, and no, we are not talking about eccentric relatives like Cousin Eddie. We're talking about furry critters looking to escape the cold and find a warm place to stay. Devin Bianco from Michigan Humane is here with advice on how to make sure your home is not so inviting to wildlife. Uh, you also brought with you an adorable kitty cat who is... This is Daphne. Daphne is a two-month-old kitten who is pretty much your typical kitten. She loves to play, she loves to eat, she loves to sleep and get lots of attention and cuddles. Kitty, kitty, kitty. Uh, this pet needs a home. Our sponsor, the Mike Morse Law Firm, will pay the standard adoption fees for whoever adopts today's pet. Uh, what kind of home are we looking at for uh, Daphne? So Daphne's going to be good in really any home. You know, she's young enough that she'll adapt. If you have resident pets, as always, go slow with that introduction so you don't frighten her. Um, and yeah, I mean, like I said, any home would be good for her. All right, let's talk about these outdoor critters that want to get into the house. I mean, yeah. You know, it happens at our house. Um, you know, we live in a he heavily wooded area. Um, and so I've noticed that uh, I've had chipmunks in the garage. I've had mice in the house. Uh, they seem no matter what you do, they always find their way in. Yes. Uh, so how do we keep them out? So some ways to try to keep them out is to make sure that you, number one, inspect your house and your garage. You know, check the ductwork. Um, if the siding, if you see anything that's broken, go ahead and fix that now because that's a way for them to get in. If you have a wood pile or a shed or somewhere like that, make sure it is elevated and that's away from any trash or compost piles because they mm -hmm. like to be found in there. Also inspect your fence if you have a fence in your backyard or around your yard. Make sure there's no holes or breaks in that because they'll find a way in. And as always, if you find wildlife in your home or in your area, make sure you call a wildlife expert. Do not handle them by yourself. Now, what about like, uh, you know, your traditional mouse trap that goes or the newer humane ones that kind of trap them like a trap door kind of yes, a thing? Those would be better. The, the more humane, obviously. <laughs> so any other uh, advice, anything you want us to know about Michigan Humane or any other animals that you have? Nope, we have several animals, amazing animals, looking for homes. Look um, at so that. So come kitty. on down to all of our, any of our shelters. Daphne can be found at our Detroit shelter, um, but there are plenty of amazing animals just looking for homes. All right. Daphne may not make it out of the studio right now. <laughs> People are looking. Uh, thanks for joining us, Devin. Good to see you. Thank you. The Mike Morse Law Firm will pay the standard adoption fees for whoever adopts Daphne. And the Morse Law Firm also wants to help you if you need legal assistance. Visit their website, 855mikewins.com, or you can call the same on the telephone, 855 Mike Wins, to find out if you have a case.